So, so let's move on, gentlemen, and talk about uh, the Blues. We've uh, done the Blues Blues many times already, but it does appear as if it's getting to a... Uh, Critical point, and once again on the weekend, they also displayed uh, the three L's, and that's no good for the health of a coach. Lamentable performance, a lazy performance, lethargic performance, Brownie. It's something yeah. that David Teague needs to address, or he'll be gone like all coaches uh, that come to the end of the tether. Oh, yeah, not, not great. Yeah, not great uh, for David T going into review with that sort of performance. Mm. Uh, lacked effort. Um, yeah, their method is out of whack as well. Uh, really lacked effort. Started off with a bad first quarter. It was a horrible... First term, uh, Jared. You, know, you, you look at the numbers just all the way through. They got smashed around the football. Their tackling effort really stands out. Like GWS had 79 tackles, and um, Carlton had 41 tackles. Yeah, it's quite astonishing. So is that, is that there's not a greater indicator in the world than that tackling effort. Can and we just strip this back, right? So this is the pressure that's all has come on this footy club. They've said that there's going to be a review. We know that includes the coach. They've had a week to think about it. The soul searching, go back, yep. you know, you eyeball each other and go, boys, how bad are we going? And this is what you're... That is instructive. Right there is instructive. And as much as, you know, we don't want to keep death riding uh, David Teague, those numbers there cannot lead you down any other path because they, they tell a story in, in and of itself. Well, what about the messaging? Oh boys. So the messaging yeah. has been uh, it's been quite technical. So mm. it's been about the system, it's been about decision making, it's been about execution. You mean from Teague? Yeah. After so, the game? I mean, behind closed doors, mm. the effort must be focused much more on, on the effort side of things. Yeah. And it, well, it would hope. have to, wouldn't it? You'd hope. I mean, David Teague, in the end, Dave spoke at the press conference and he was speaking fundamental basics mm. of footy mm. about being able to use a ball. Three and... phases of the game. They've got it, you've got it, and it's in dispute. Well, have a look at this organisation. This is the centre bounce. This leads to a goal for GWS. We won't play it all the way through. Where's the that. forwards? The Blues forwards out here. Where's the half forwards coming in? Put Josh Kelly just waltzing around like a training drill but going, how good's this? Those two guys on the right of screen, the half forwards, they've got to be the ones rounding up, closing down the space there on Josh Kelly. No have a look at this. Them. Look at the, the midfielders. The Carlton midfielders just take off and leave Paddy Dow. Hang out to dry <laughs> here. Where's the numbers? Get and there's still time here, boys. Get and, back and support. And watch tick, this tick, 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 Zach tick, Williams tick. deep, the loose there. Where, how's his positioning? It was an afterthought that he needed to get back. Mate, he was in the centre square. He was in the centre square trying to get an easy kick if they squared it in. So but these are all you would imagine. Well, if you look at the running, and we'll see. We'll show you some running from Lockie Whitfield in a moment. But is Jack Martin there? Is he pushing hard? Is he busting? No, he's not. He's not, Gary. So, I mean, you've got to think that David Teague is showing them these edits. So, so what does he do, Gary? Put yourself in Teague's position. Last couple of weeks ago, you said he had to make a statement to survive. Does he need to go even harder? Well, he dropped Mark Murphy. That's right. Does he need to go harder? Does he need to drop one of the captains? Yeah, well, of course he can, because... The stuff that we're about to show you leads itself to saying that there's not the buy-in. If he wants to coach in a certain manner, and he talks about not educating defensive structures and all that sort of thing, well, it starts at the top, and, and Doherty is a part of that. He's, he's part of this defensive structure, but you, you just watch some of the, the running of Whitfield when we see this. Now, that's, that's a 10 or 15 metre leg rope, and then behind the footy, the retreat, Brownie. They yeah. come back. And collapse. It, they collapse. just collapse back yeah. into this defensive 50. They leave the middle part of the ground. You watch the confusion now because there's no hard one-on-one. -on -one. The confusion of two or three players in a moment, you'll see them. No, no one knows whether to pick up. And it goes to Whitfield again, who gets involved here. Which is the three card no, players. You're, you're right. And Williams was a spare man. They had him in the right position. But because they couldn't hold the corridor... Look at those look three at Whitfield. He draws three card players. That is not a good system. So their team defence system or method, whatever you want to call it, combine that with a lack of work rate, no wonder GWS are able to play, take 90 marks between the arcs and GWS are able to just march it from end to end far too easily. And this happens week in, week out. Have a look at that. Since round seven, Carlton are the easiest team for the opposition yep. to move it from their defence to their forward field. Do you reckon Zach Williams' old team went to school on him and... Uh... Worked him over. I know they did. 11 I, possessions. I, I know they did. I tell you what, Zach Williams is one of the laziest footballers going around at the moment. Oh, Brownie, it's big. It big. is an absolute indictment. Don't worry. There's about 100 pieces of vision we've left on the cutting room floor. We could have gone through it for the next half an hour and show it. And we could have, we could have really, really hurt his reputation. So, so I'm just verbaling it for you. That bloke has come to the Carlton Footy Club, paid that sort of money. He needs to turn up in better shape and yep. get himself fit and turn up and put in 
a better effort, especially on defence. So, so you talk about what's David Teague saying. Mm. So we, you absolutely are right. He says communicating mm. all of the things that a senior coach, you don't get that far if you mm. don't understand. But then you watch what's going on here. On the back of the week that they've had, the week off, fresh it up, and then you see some running. Kelly's on one leg, hurt his ankle in the first, I don't know, three minutes of the game. The spread from these two here. So there they go. There's Carlton players that are in position. Ball goes deep. Right, and the next players that bob up here on a, on a horrible turnover, albeit, are Kelly and Hopper ahead of the footy, mm, right? Yeah. So you go, Kelly's on one leg. Just say this again, he's, he stepped, came off the ground. Stepped. Stepped inside two players, hit up lead. Now, this one's worse. This, this is the most damning one of all. Now, I'm a Lockie Whitfield uh, devotee, OK? Because he wants to test the opposition every chance he gets. That's what he wants to do. Look at this. Look where Whitfield is. Yep. And look what he puts. He puts six of them to the sword because he wants to test them. He looks at them and says, what do you got? I know <laughs> what I've got. What do you got? And that's <laughs> embarrassing. And, and, hey, they won't be the only ones. No. But when there's six of them, that's, that's so it. And, and the trouble there is, so you've, you've, you've shown Williams, Jack Martin again on that occasion, you've got high-paid high players. You've got you, the core of the Carlton side and they're really good young leaders and players. It's Cripps, it's Mackay, mm. it's, it's Walsh. So Walsh. younger players are probably a little bit more introverted. If I'm David Teague, I'm bringing them in. I'm getting them in and I'm saying, OK, the, the senior players, they're, they're not leading the way. Doherty, they're not leading. Murphy's we, out of the we, side. They're not leading the way ago. with their defensive. We did effort. say this two weeks ago. This is your club now. But they, but they, but they have to drive no. it. These young players that are the core, that are the real honest workers within that football club, they're the ones that they have to drive it. Otherwise, guess what? They're not going to be a good football side yeah. for a long period. That's and those good. young blokes, they want success. Does Mark but Murphy get to three hundred, Brownie? I think he probably does. Yep. You know because. You know, the blokes out there on the performance on the weekend. Yeah, he played well in the reserves. He went back and I hear he had a good attitude in the VFL, so he probably earned the right to get back in. What about the, uh, just another quick question. We don't have any vision on it. But Sam, Sam Walsh been fantastic. Gets tagged for one of the first times in his career. Was there any help from the, any, the senior blokes, you reckon? Or, yeah, they, that's when true leadership... We talk about on-field leadership. Did Cripps get over and try and help him out Is there? It to did Doherty identify? Yeah, there was both Doherty and Cripps did yep. at the first centre bounce. Yeah, first for about two minutes. For about two minutes, right. then they had enough of their own issues. But then the coach let him off the hook. Mm. Then, then Pushing him to the half-forward flank. Well, I'm watching. I'm thinking this is going to be good. I want to see whether the ball can run with Walsh. And I'm watching it closely. Next yeah. to me, he's playing half-forward flank. Because okay, isn't that leadership? If you just you say Walsh, you'll back Walsh's running, back him to work it out. But hey. Cripper and blokes like Doherty, they've got to be able to identify it and help the kid yeah, out and yeah. teach him and help him work his yeah. way through it without changing position. So I just thought there were some opportunities for leadership, on-field leadership. You know, you can draw up whatever words yep. and put words on the whiteboard, leadership words and have leadership meetings, all that sort of stuff. But you're missing opportunities for on-field leadership. And that's where the great leader... That's what separates the great leaders from the also runs. Yeah, Are we going to talk about... Will we be talking about Carlton next week? I think we will be. Oh, geez. Well, they just, they're, then they're just not getting it, are they? They're not at this stage, Gary. Mm. And we're not getting it either. No, no. Because we're going to a break. <laughs>